Hey everybody, Model Man here, and when last we left, I had just gotten this circuit board working, and since then I've trimmed it down a little and done a couple other things I'll go over, uh, but I'm just setting it down, thinking about where I'm going to put it on the baseboard, and uh, how wires are going to route, and all that kind of thing. In doing so, I'm also looking around at other stuff, like where all this fiber optic is going to route to. Uh, I probably have all steady colors on top of the command console. It's been a while since I looked, but chances are all the steady colors that can be referenced are referenced. That means this bundle of fiber coming off of that is either buttons that aren't referenced or flash. In which case, going over to the reference over here, there's not a lot of flashing going on. And I do recall that the photo etch was not exactly uh, correct to the studio set piece. It may have been correct to any given blueprint, but uh, they don't exactly match up. Which means I could be free to do just about anything I like with all of this fiber. So, we'll take a look at that. But also real critical is that down that trench right there is this much more fiber coming back. Each of these guys here has dozens, I don't know how many. I'd have to count again. I'm thinking there's like 130 fibers each. I took a few minutes to split off the thicker fibers which I believe run along the bottom and those have their own blink rates according to this here some always on few blink most are off white red yellow so that's basically that those don't have to light they can blink they can be steady on it's good to have options but all of the upper panel lights a number long slow steady holds punctuated with random fast on and off so there's going to be some variety going on there and to get these into place you can probably see that I do in fact have to do just a little bit of painting uh, the face on this one is moderately okay you can see some brass there uh, this one is eh, maybe passable this guy is definitely rough looking here. I have to repaint that whole face and try not to cover up the fiber optics. Or if I paint it in such a way that the uh, fiber optics are barely covered at all. And there's some of the light pattern right there so you can see how many are actually in here. At the bottom of the silver there I have to drill a hole on this side and that side. Uh, it's going to have a blinking fiber optic like the rest of the danger ball does according to the reference. So that's just about ready. There's a few LEDs to put in there which is finishes off this section here. And uh, I think all of a sudden a lot of this model is going to start coming together and the lighting is just going to all of a sudden be done. There's still a little more work to do though. I don't want to fake any uh, anything out. If there's five LEDs coming, there's five channels of light coming off of this sequencer, there's three coming off of the other one there, so that's eight more flashes that can go into the eight or nine that are already going on this. All set to different rates and all cross blinking around because initially I was thinking just the two sequencers would be for the freezer wall however I'm gonna take some of that freezer wall fiber out route it into some of this one some of that one and uh, route some of the wires off of these LEDs for those sequencers over somewhere else with different colors and so on and so forth so there's gonna be a lot of options going on all of a sudden it's just going to be a matter of keeping it all straight and under control. So in trying to figure out where I was going to put this board, I was initially thinking like somewhere here perhaps, but I really wanted as far center as possible. And I saw that this wire is pretty much in the way. It can't really be lifted well enough, so it would have to be sat on. Or 
notched out. This one can fit over, but it's really the better to uh, put it underneath. And to that extent, you can see that along the bottom there, I've done a couple pairs of drill holes and then one large one there at the end, just in case I happen to need them. The original two drill holes, or notches there at the uh, far right, I were going to be one for each wire, however I quickly realized that both wires would fit through one of those notches. The back side will have all the heat going on, which will be pretty much exposed to open area. The legs off of these two blue LEDs are going to get kicked over to the side when I'm ready for that, and as it happens, it's this long LED there and this other LED here those wires are going to be plugged into that and uh, well they'll also be feeding off to some cool white as well and yellow too I think so there's gonna be a lot of good things going on here and I think basically what I'll be doing is simply super gluing this down well maybe I'll use one hole for each notch there or one notch for each wire there and and the first thing to go down is this layer of bubble wrap which I've been using to help protect the bottom and the top when I've been doing this sort of work And it looks like I've got these legs kicked over to the side far enough that they won't interfere with the board. On the back side I've got this little bit of electrical tape. I'm just going to plant this in here. So there's no risk of those touching at all. Make sure the wires are in their notches, and now they are. Slide this to where I want it to go. And... Yes, I'm very sure. Okay, do it. So it's taken a few seconds to cure in there, but it's going. What I'll do at some point is get some Ava's epoxy and bead a little along the edge there so that it's uh, firmly set in place. Alright, so that is good. So what I want to do now is undo each LED and backtrack the wire. Interesting, so even though green fires up first, it's actually number three. And I'm glad to see I'll have plenty of wire to uh, put that wherever I want. So let me actually mark this one stripe of green. And this LED should be number four, but it is in fact number one. So I'm going to give this two stripes for number two. And this one's getting three. And number four for the really long one. And then finally number five for the double length one. Alright, so at this point, this is pretty firmly in place but I'll still do the Ava's epoxy trick. I had been concerned that these positives might not be long enough to reach all the way over to uh, somewhere in here is where I think the fibers on the computer consoles are going to cut down because they aren't very long at all. So I may be uh, facing a little difficulty there. But there's enough length here that I'll be able to actually fit these down, snug them underneath this branch of wires, route them under the fiber optics there, and bring them out into uh, play somewhere in this area. I don't want to go... I, 
even though the height here I could still build another full deck of LEDs on top of this and have plenty of room underneath as I get closer to the edge I want to avoid doing that so this may only have one more level of LEDs available to it and so on and so forth So this guy right here is going to be the new master positive and in a second I'll have the new master negative wired up as well. So one trick I like to do whenever I can is open up a little split in the wire, loop it around wherever you need to, and then continue on your path. That way you don't have to cut a lot of little wires all the time. Don't know if it saves time, but it does make things a little more elegant in the grand scheme and a little simpler to follow. And you can always trim it later if you need to go back and do a repair. Now let's do the same for number five here, but on a different leg. And right now all I'm doing is stretching the rubber, it's not cutting. When you're working under such cramped conditions, it's tough to get a good cut.
I like this fit. It's nice, compact, it's out of the way. Could even shove a bunch of wire around if I want to keep some extra. Alright, so these guys are all ready for some tubes, and that means I need some fiber optics, which means I've got just a little bit of painting to do. So let me catch up with you in a little bit.